got a secret, can you keep it? Swear this one you'll save. Better lock it in your pocket, taking this one to the grave. Hey guys, okay, so here's the thing. I have been watching Pretty Little Liars for the past 48 hours, like nonstop. I'm not even kidding, I need an intervention. So the thing is that I am absolutely obsessed with Arya's fashion and like makeup and hairstyle. I love the way she dresses. She is absolutely perfect and Lucy Hale is gorgeous. So I knew that it had to be in my immediate agenda to make an Arya Montgomery hair, makeup and outfit inspired video. So that is what I have in store for you guys today. I'm going to start off with the makeup, then going on to the hair and finally I have two outfit ideas inspired by Arya at the end of the video. So if you're interested, make sure you keep watching. Starting off with your hair tied back and your face completely clean, I'm going to show you a little trick. You're going to mix one part moisturizer and one part foundation, and you're going to mix that up. It's sort of going to create your own tinted moisturizer slash customized BB cream type thing. It's going to provide enough coverage, but it's not going to be too heavy, which is basically the signature Aria face look. She looks super youthful, dewy, glowy, and not too heavy. I'm using my Age Rewind Concealer to conceal any dark circles or imperfections. Once again, youthful, perfect skin without overdoing it. So keep that in mind. If you can't tell, I love my beauty blender. Okay, so up next I'm going to powder over my foundation moisturizer mix to kind of set it, but do not use too much because we don't want to overdo it. Once again, natural is key here. Okay, so another signature part of Arya's look is the bold brows. So I'm just combing my brows out and then I'm using my Tarte Brow Mousse to define, darken, and kind of make my brows a little bit bigger. While you're doing it, keep in mind that you want big and bold, but still natural, so keep them natural, not fake. Now picking up the lightest shade from my Naked Basics palette, it's called Venus, it has a really pretty shimmer to it. I'm going to apply that to the inner half of my eyelid and to my inner corner. And that, my friends, is basically the only eyeshadow Aria wears in Season 3. So yeah, but you can just use any shimmery, pearly eyeshadow that you have. Now using the same medium sized eyeshadow brush, all I did was clean it off on the inside of my arm. That's kind of gross, I know, but I took off most product and now I'm just using it to blend out what I have. I'm not applying any more product, I'm just blending out to make sure there aren't any ugly harsh lines or anything like that. And then I last minute decided to apply WOS2 underneath my brow bone to kind of highlight a little bit more. And now for one of the most important parts of the signature Arya look, the eyeliner. And you're just going to apply that on the outer halves of your eye. Let me explain. Only on the outer half of your bottom and your top lash line. Do not go into the inside, just the outside half. And that's just going to make your eyes look Arya big. So I'm just tight lining and water lining and then I'm going to subtly make a small, very close line to my top eyelash. And I'm taking my NYX smudge brush and I'm just going to smudge that out and make sure that it blends very nicely into my inner half. Again, I did not bring the eyeliner all the way in, only halfway and I'm just making sure that it blends nicely. That's all I'm doing. Quick fun fact, I'm actually using the Urban Decay 24-7 Eye Pencil and I heard that this is the actual eyeliner that they use on set for Arya's eye makeup. Eyelashes, very important to make your eyes look Arya big. So I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and I seriously applied like 25 coats of mascara. Not even kidding, but you just do your thing. Apply as many coats of your favorite mascara as you need. Arya's cheeks, definitely something that stands out to me. So I chose my e.l.f. blush and this is in the color poppy pink. It's just a gorgeous baby pink and it's beautiful. And don't ask me why I'm using a fan brush. I think I just didn't want to overdo it. Okay, last important thing in Arya's signature look, the pink lips. I chose my Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Lip Stain. I'm obsessed with these things. And this is in the color Smitten. It is a gorgeous pink, basically what Arya wears all the time. We gotta take care of our hair. That kind of rhymed. Okay, so I purposely had my hair in a bun all this time, so I'm just going to let that go, and what that bun does is just kind of enhance my natural waves in my hair. If you do need more curls, you can just curl it with a curling iron or whatever, do your thing, whatever you do. I am applying some sea salt spray to kind of enhance them and maintain them a bit more. 
Next, I'm going to part my hair like in a big side part. You go ahead and do that. Dry shampoo, if there is one thing that you need for this hairstyle, it's definitely dry shampoo. What that does is add volume as well as control the oil just a little bit, but adding volume is the main reason I'm doing it. Okay, so I'm just going to take a piece of the part of hair where the side part isn't going to, like the opposite side, and I'm going to twist the section and then add more hair. So just twist, twist, and add a little bit more hair. Do that until your hair is all the way back to the back of your head. And then you're going to take a bunch of bobby pins, I seriously use like 100, and pin that to the other side of your head. Like that, apparently. And I kind of tucked out a piece of hair from underneath the twirl to cover up all the bobby pins, and pull all your hair to the side where most of your hair is. Does that make sense? I hope it does. And that is it for the completed makeup and hair look, and that's me, kind of trying to look like Aria. Did I nail it? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, let's just move on to my favorite part. Got a secret, can you keep it? Swear this one you save. Better lock it in your pocket, taking this one to the grave. If I show you, then I know you won't tell what I said. Cause two can keep a secret if one of them is dead. Hey guys, it's me again. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure you leave me a thumbs up below so I know that you did. And in the comment section go ahead and tell me if you like my outfit choices, um, if you like the makeup, the hair, if I look like her. And if I don't, it's okay because Lucy Hale is absolutely gorgeous so it's all good. And, oh, very important, if you recreate this look and this hair and this makeup and like outfits of your own, make sure you send me pictures to my Instagram and to my Twitter. Tag me in either of them, they are both at Uwodu, because I would love to see how your guys' ideas turn out as well. I hope you enjoyed, thank you so much for watching, that's it for this video, I send a million kisses your way, take care and I'll talk to you guys really soon, bye!